was a pioneer and a freedom rider, a Nashville civil rights leader is awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom just a few hours ago. Diane Nash worked closely with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He described her as the driving spirit in the nonviolent assault on segregation at lunch counters. Nash was one of several who received the special acknowledgement, and Raquel Martin is in Washington with the nation's highest civilian honor. Civil rights trailblazers, humanitarians, and decorated athletes were among the 17 Americans awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom at the White House Thursday. Our nation's highest civilian award. Simone Biles, the most decorated Olympic gymnast in history, was among the big names. She adds to her medal count. Of 32, I know you're gonna find room. <laughs> President Biden praised Biles' work both on and off the mat, highlighting her courage to speak out against sexual assault within U.S. gymnastics. Turn personal pain into greater purpose. The president also honored the work of Americans no longer with us. Former Apple CEO Steve Jobs. What Steve left us is something special. Technology with the capacity to improve our lives in ways that haven't even yet been thought of. And an old friend, the late Republican Senator John McCain. We used to argue like hell on the Senate floor, but then we'd go down and have lunch together. I never stopped admiring John. Never said a negative thing about him in my life. After today, just 631 Americans have received the award, including the president himself. This is America. He says today's recipients reflect the country at its best. Well, one person missing from today's ceremony, actor Denzel Washington. The White House confirms he tested positive for COVID-19, but the president says Washington will be honored at a later date.